Hi, this is Hans Guth with Listings Magic, and in this video we're going to be talking about social media, social media publishing for both properties and articles. So this is going to be a comprehensive social media. Uh, it's an introduction video, so it's going to be part of our intro series, and it's been updated as of 4-7-22. Uh, as things continuously change, we're continuously evolving the product set, so it requires us to uh, maintain our training videos. So in this video we're going to speak about the social media side of Listings Magic. And so when you first log in, you're going to see a lot of connectors or uh, boxes that if they're not connected yet, they're all going to be in red. And so I'm in a demo account and these have all been connected. But what you do is you just simply cl click on one of those red boxes and go in and click on. So for me, I have to reconnect Google. And so what I would do is simply you would click on connect Google and it would take you to a page that lets you manage or gives us permission to manage some aspects of posting. We're not going to post anything right away. This isn't like you're saying I'm going to post something now. This is simply giving our our apps the permission to the various social media apps. So each of these companies, we have built an app that works with them. And so you're just giving our apps the permissions required. And so if you don't use Twitter, for example, don't worry about that. You can leave that one, of course. But any of the ones that you use, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Google and Google My Business, very important and incredibly uh, uh, valuable to make sure that you're posting content to your Google Business pages. And if you haven't set up your My Google Business page, I have another video on that that you can search through in our Listings Magic training area that speaks to the value and how to set it up and, and what a Google My Business page is. Uh, but go ahead and go through and connect all of these various pages so that we have the access to them. And then down below that, you're going to see the various options that you're going to give us permission to, to take action on. And so you can choose to have us post, this is all around properties. So we're talking about new listings or active listings that are in your account. And so do you want us to post that to your Google business page, to your Facebook page, to your Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter? All of these will be available for the ones that you've given us permission. If you have not, these will be grayed out. And then if you have a Facebook business page, that will show up down below. And if you have selected Instagram, that will show up down below as well. And then what are the events that you want us to publish or notify you of? And that'll make sense here in a second. We have these different options, just listed, price reduction, under contract, sold, open house, and coming soon. So which ones do you want? So anytime a new listing is added to your account, do you want us to post it or notify you? Um, if, if there's a price reduction, do you want us to post it or notify you? If you don't, if you say, I don't want you to tell me about these, go ahead and leave those unchecked. And then do you want us to automatically post these for you on your behalf? Or do you want us to send you a notification? If you do notification, this is the notification area. So what that will do is basically it's like a reminder uh, and it still makes it easy. So you're going to get an email notification and or a text notification saying, hey, you know, we saw that there was a price reduction. Here's how you can publish this very quickly and easily. And it'll be uh, very simple and easy to do. Click a link and then just say, here's what I want the uh, call out to say. So you can customize it. So really up to you on how you want to do that. Uh, many agents are busy and they just want it done automatically for them. So you just click on that. And then when you're done, you click on save. And that is how you would set up the social media side of postings. Now you can always post properties or articles manually. And I'll show you the article side of it over here. So on the article side of it, we have a uh, inventory of around 20,000 articles that we've curated over the past few years on a variety of different subjects. Um, of course, we've got real estate and finance and anything pertaining to real estate in general, staging, uh, things of that nature. And then we have a bunch of other categories as well, personal development, uh, uh, recipes, um, architecture, a, a lot of different articles. And so what you're going to want to do if you want to set that up is set up article posting. And once you do this, you'll be taken to a page that allows you to set your settings for the article side of things. And then I'll show you how to actually post an article. And so once again, we're going to show you which uh, of the sites have been connected. If they are not connected, they'll be in red. You'll have an opportunity from here to also connect those. And then do you want us to send you a notification or do you want us to automatically post for you? So on the property side of it, I recommend having it done automatically because you don't have to think about it. It's just, it's your listing. We're going to have a nice call out. It's going to have a link to the tour and there's not a whole lot to really do there. It's going to have a branded photo for you calling out whether it's you know just listed, price reduction, under contract, sold, whatever the case may be. 
on the article side of it, because articles are, are very personal, we recommend that you get a notification. If you do change it to auto post, we are going to like kind of pop up a little warning here to say, hey, just letting you know, you know, we're going to be posting articles. We're not looking at each of these articles, and we're not going to say, hey, this is a good fit for Gene Realtor. It's going to be sort of randomized. And so that's why I recommend that you do have the notification. What's going to happen is, is you're going to get an email um, on the days that you specify, and that'll all make sense down below as well. So where do you want the notification to go to? And then which pages or which social media platforms do you want us to send to? And then, of course, which Facebook pages? And then which days of the week? So you can choose to have it go out every day, or you can just say, I only want uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And once you're done with that, save settings. And now every... Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to receive a notification that allows you to quickly post an article. What would that look like? I'll show you right now. We're going to go ahead and step into the post article now option. And so you're going to come to a page that looks something like the following. And so once again, we're always going to show you which of the pages that we have access to, just in case you want to change those. And then now you can look, we're going to send you a number of different articles that you can choose to look through. And let's just take a look and see some of the ones that we've got here. So this is more like a um, architectural article. Sometimes the photos get, um, get broken, so you don't want to post that one. Investing, the Burr method is a powerful tool for yeah, real estate investing. That sounds interesting. You know, again, this is per your personality. If you want to search for a particular article, you can do that as well. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you how that works. So let's just do a search on travel. Since, you know, we're post-pandemic and a lot of us are a little bit stir-crazy and want to go out and see the world. So let's see what we've got in terms of travel. And so we're going to, again, now pull up a series of articles that have travel related to them. And speaking of, air travel took a pounding, new figures from Germany. That sounds kind of bland and boring, kind of German-esque. We'll skip that. Let's look for a Peru's capital is stunning. Peru. I've always wanted to go to Peru. I want to see uh, Machu Picchu. So you can review the article and take a look at it, make sure it's a good fit. Wow, that's really cool. I like that. Um, and so once you say, yeah, that's an interesting article, I like it. Now you can come back here and say, I do want to post that actual article. And now you can choose which of the sites you want it to post to. I don't want it to post to all of these um, Facebook pages that I manage. I'm just going to post it to one, and then I will send it to my personal. And then here's a cool thing. You, I would always recommend that you customize a call out. I have never been to... Peru, I've never been, I have never been to Peru, but Machu Picchu is on my bucket list of places to see. Super easy, super fast. Now here's the other really cool thing. You can actually add emojis, and so let's just do a search for travel, and boom, we can grab that one. And let's do, what else? How about a map? So we've got a couple. You can long click and hold it, and it'll actually grab them both, put those on the back end, and that's it. That's all you got to do. Just click Post Now, and we're going to go and send it off to these various sites, and each of these posts will be viewable. And so let's go ahead and take a look at it on Facebook. There it is on Facebook, and you can view it on Instagram. Why is that doing that? Well, I have to log into Instagram, so I'm not going to do that right now, but it is there on Instagram. Again, Google My Business, I talked about the importance of Google My Business. You're going to see how that shows up on Google My Business. And... LinkedIn. So look how fast it is. So in one fell swoop, we publish this to all of the various social media platforms that we care about or that we maintain. And then, of course, lastly, 
but not leastly on Twitter. So that is how easy it is for articles to get posted, and that will be what you'll get a reminder of. So this is a con the conclusion to the how to set up your social media profile on Listings Magic. And any questions you have, reach out to us at support at Listings Magic. You can chat with us during normal business hours, or you can call us at 866-831-8639. Thanks for watching.